Assalamu alaikum, peace be on all. This is Moel, you guessed it right. So, in this video, I basically want to discuss what took place when I made the last, the second last video on my YouTube channel discussing uh, atheism and telling nihilism. Okay, and yes, it entails nihilism at the end of the day. Some people got it, some people didn't. And obviously the atheists didn't get it. And uh, I've explained it nonetheless and uh, made a comparison between uh, a psychological state and a epistemological stance. You know what I mean? If you're just going to operate based on psychology and experience, because that's what I meant. Some people didn't get it. I don't know why. And some people did. Nonetheless, a lot of uh, obstreperous, Okay, obstreperous and contentious and uh, truculent and at the same time pugnacious. <laughs> atheists came on my uh, YouTube. I don't even know these people. They just came and they said, no, it doesn't. Atheism does not entail nihilism, blah, 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 and all the nonsense that you usually get from these uh, uh, pusillanimous, you know, these cowards. So here is uh, what this video is about now. The, the discussion that I had with this so-called uh, uh, ex-Muslim and agnostic and at the same time uh, his culture is Islam. Okay, so you have this man okay, who claims to be an agnostic <laughs> and at the same time his culture is Islam and he's Islamic or Muslim by culture. So he's an agnostic, a Muslim by culture, and he's also uh, basically uh, philosophically literate, okay? <laughs> so, when, because all these things don't follow through. You cannot claim to be an agnostic and then uh, Islamically uh, or culturally is, uh, a Muslim. So this shows that he's operating based on psychology. Okay, that's the example that I'm trying to give you because obviously in the last video I said it's a, it's a psychological state. Agnosticism is a psychological state just like nihilism. Even though I didn't mention agnosticism, I just talked about atheism in general and how these neo-atheists, they operate based on psychology, not epistemology. And I'm emphasizing that. And I don't know why people don't get when I say such statement. People who operate based on psychology and not epistemology. If you're acquainted with philosophy, or you should get it. I mean, I'm obviously I'm not an academic, and I'm. Uh, but this is the way I explain it. People operating based on psychology, not epistemology. If you can't fathom that, then uh, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> so, and the Quran talks about those who follow the temptation of their own ego. Now, what's going on with these agnostics now and atheists, especially the guy that I talked to who claims to be an agnostic but culturally Muslim? What's going on with these people, their psychological state? What's happening is this. Let's be frank. They're pussillanimous. They're cowards. Okay? They're cowards, to be frank with you. Uh, and they uh, pigeon-hearted. Okay? <laughs> you want to call them that? Pussies. They're pussies at the end of the day. Let's, be, let's just give it to them how it is. They're pussies. Bunch of pussycats. Talking out of the side of their neck without making any sense. Bring me on a show so I can stoop down to his level so he can try to beat me because he can't come up to my level because he can't not fathom what I'm talking about. Okay? Because I speak, when I speak, I speak in philosophical terms. Cause that's the, and then he says, oh... So all these things on a basic level are just imaginations. But on a philosophical term, they just sound like at the core. What is this ultra crepidarian talking about? This ignoramus talking about? And then he has the nurse to come on my post and uh, try to basically uh, disparage me with mockery and ridicule me. He keeps ridiculing me and uh, some heedless Muslims are lacking his comments as if he said something uh, uh, of substance or of value. This man lacks substance and value. 
and he's disrespectful and he's childish, very unprofessional. He kept interrupting me. Now, obviously, when I did the review, I was trying to be nice. But then when I, he revealed his true side, I'm like, the hell with this guy? The hell is he talking about? Yeah, been talking out of the side of his neck. Coming, I'm trying to disrespect me and disparage me. Oh, I use the same terms. I use the same diction. What's your point? You don't use any terms. You're basic. At least I use the same thing to get it through your thick skull. Okay, as the Quran says, فَذَكِّرْ النَّفْعَةِ الذِّكْرَ فَذَكِّرْ النَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ Remind those. Keep reminding. Okay? And that's what we're doing. We keep reminding even if we have to use the same sentence. I mean, the Quran. Allah uses the same diction. He calls the heedless heedless. He doesn't have to use a different term. He calls it, and it's easy for memorization. So when I come here and use the same diction, so it can go through your head, so it can ring a bell. You know what I'm saying? It can ring a bell, you know, a lot of bulb. You know what I'm saying? So you can be able to basically fathom at the end of the day. But a lot of you lack comprehension. And, and to be frank with you, all pusillanimous, okay? Pusillanimous. At the end of the day, cowards. All of you. Agnostics and atheists. Y'all want to project agnosticism and uh, proselytize it so other people can basically be heedless. So when you are confronted in the day of judgment with your own wrongdoings, you can say, oh, we didn't know. As if you're being put on this planet and therefore we, don't, we do not know anything. How are you going to operate, man? There are presuppositions. To say you don't know, it comes with consequences. Repercussions. Okay, so drop the contentious attitude. And if you don't have knowledge, you're supposed to ask people of knowledge at the end of the day. Every time I, uh, I turn uh, the table around, you know, try to basically ask him questions, he would basically, uh, uh, basically disregard it and move on and keep asking me questions. I'm like, bro, we're having a discussion. You keep asking me, asking, okay, what do you have to offer? You have nothing. <clears throat> you have no legs to stand, on, to stand on. You have nothing to offer as an agnostic. Why the hell should I be an, an agnostic and abandon my God-given rational faculties? Why the hell would I be an agnostic or an atheist and operate based on physicalism, naturalism, materialism? Doesn't make sense, man. And yes, I have to use these terms because that's what y'all operate based off. I mean, what else do you want to call it? Things. Like he, he said, logic is not a thing when I was talking with him. This heedless punk. Honestly. And I told him, you're just a rearrangement of atoms if I crack your skull open. Because he keeps saying, what soul? And then he, he, told, he tells me he can have two souls. The hell is this? Two souls, three souls, five souls. And they're just talking to the wall. And then, and then the funny thing is that when he came to disparage me and ridicule me and mock me because I, he, apparently I use the same diction, which I don't mind, by the way, you know, it's not a big deal. I mean, uh, I can dig up more vocabulary and spit it at him, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make you sound smart or anything. Because I'm on point when I focus a name at the end of the day. I don't go off on tangents or anything. I want to focus on the topic and say, okay, which side is more coherent? What makes the most sense? But he couldn't fathom a thing, and he kept interrupting me. It was exhausting. And the, Because you see, you're trying to keep your... Uh, trying to be polite. For guys like me trying to be polite, that's when we get exhausted. Because we're not used to being polite. Someone is being an idiot, we call it how it is. You know what I mean? Someone's being a ghafil, min al ghafilin. We say, hey, you're a heedless individual. Someone lacks insight, we say, you lack insight, you lack vision. You're not a man of discernment. I mean, he, he wants to remain on that agnostic position until he dies. And he doesn't want to attain knowledge. This is the ultimate ignorance. He doesn't want to investigate. Okay, 
So we don't know if there is a uh, uh, hereafter, and we do not know if there is uh, if it's nihilism under agnosticism. Let's put it that way. You cannot make a decision. Okay, provide an alternative. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. How long do you want to keep saying that you do not know? And then you come and refute people. This is self-defeating. You cannot refute people when you have nothing to offer. Agnosticism is a lousy position. Just like atheism nonetheless. But at least atheism are negating the proposition. You as an agnostic, you say you don't know. You don't know. Or even if it's a psychological state. Okay, eventually you'll come to know. What are you negating if you have nothing to offer? I don't get it. Because usually in a debate, two people bring, if it's a discussion, if it's a debate between two individuals, the oppositions have to bring their argument to the table. This guy's got nothing to offer and they want to come and be contentious, okay? And combative and aggressive and belligerent. Okay, it's just uh, asinine, it's absolutely asinine, ludicrous, and ridiculous. He tells me, because I believe in a soul, okay, what the hell do you believe in, man? Do you believe you have rational faculties? I asked him this, he, he didn't respond, because he's afraid, he's a coward, he's a pussy. That's what it is, he's a pussy, straight up. And I'm not going to even say pussy cat to put on, he's a pussy blank. Call it how it is. And if you want to say this guy is vulgar, yeah, you got to be learned with the learned and vulgar with the vulgar. That's how it is. How am I going to, how else am I going to put it? Some guy uh, online trying to make a channel and deceive Pakistani atheists and agnostics and Pakistani Muslims who are in doubt. This man should be, should be knocked. You know, the next cat who wants to go and talk to him, and uh, chilling his, uh, and he's unprofessional to be frank with you, he's unprofessional, the way he conducts his show, he'll interrupt you, he'll interrogate you on every single word you use, like when I say the soul is in a different realm, he's like what do you mean by realm, I told him dimension, he's like what do you mean by dimension, get a dictionary you asshole, and don't, uh, stop asking me questions, superfluous questions, come on man, this is stupidity. Anyways, that's all I that's all I wanted to talk about. And if y'all don't get the atheism until nihilism, go to hell. Go to hell, all of you atheists. Hell will settle your account and evil arresting place. Okay, because it says that in the Quran. For those who are the most rigid of opponents. How is that how is that for not using pugnacious? You can tank her as punks. Honestly, if atheism was the fact of the matter, bro, we put, we, you know how easy it is to just, uh, you know, put you in the back of a caddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is not a threat. It just, it's that simple. Anyone can come and put you in the back of a caddy. And I know now I'm going off on a tangent and I'm sounding a bit uh, gangster and I look kind of mean on the on the on this uh, uh video but nonetheless this is how it is i'm not threatening you i'm just saying that's how it is there's no value there's no intrinsic value to anything it's just physicalism everything is just cake you know you cut it in half it's cake even space is cake <laughs> i'm not joking with you anyways <laughs> let's leave it on a good note with this laugh and uh, that's all I got to say. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.